Now, what's up? I'm super pumped about today's video. So today we're going to be talking about this right here, and we're actually going to be diving deeper into pool bonding. Now, a very common question that you may hear or may think yourself is, what do I have to do when I'm bonding a pool? Does it have to be one solid run of number eight copper all the way around the pool, or can it be split up? Can I, you know, tap onto it? How do I tap onto it if I do? And we're going to talk about that today. So what this is, this is just your standard split bolt connector. If you take it across here, you'll see that it opens up into two pieces. Now, the number one thing that you have to watch out for with these is that they are rated for direct burial because you are going to be burying these and also want to make sure that they're rated for concrete if you're putting them in concrete. So let's go ahead and jump into it now. So the I guess the best scenario I can think of is let's say you're doing your, you know, you're doing an above ground pool and you're doing your perimeter bonding, right? You're going around, you're tapping at your four points, everything's going good, but within five feet, there's a metal fence. Do I have to take that and make one solid unbroken piece, tap the metal fence and come back? Or can I just tap onto that and branch off and tap that and just have a little, you know, a branch going off to it? And let's go ahead and talk about that now. So let's pull this out here. This is what it looks like. Let's imagine this loop right here is our um, you know, going to be our piece where we've came and we've tapped the pool. And let's imagine that our fence is over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this connector just like this. We're going to open it up. We're going to slide this top piece on like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide the bottom piece on like this. We're going to squeeze it together. We're going to smush it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tighten it down. And as long as we've tightened this up and it may have a torque recommendation, you'll just torque it down to the tightness. Tighten it down, make sure it's nice and tight, and then we're going to go over to our fence and we're going to bond it there at the fence. But yes, you can legally, and make sure you know you approve this with your electrical inspector, but according to NEC, you can tap on and branch out. You could do a ton of individual pieces, you do, but it does not have to be one solid run going all the way around the pool. You can branch off in many directions, and it's just something that you want to be able to know how to do and how to do properly. So just to recap, you can do it. Make sure that you're using direct braid, uh, direct rate and direct burial I about said direct braided direct burial and concrete rated lugs and make sure that they are rated for the area and the corrosion level that you're using them with and make sure you properly install them according to the manufacturer specifications and then you'll be able to tap on and branch off with copper into other places that you need to go I'm the electrical code coach I hope you guys have a great day let's get to it